I'm Catherine Decina Sapolin, your beer mistress, and I'm on my quest to find the worst tasting Belgian beer. And this week, I'm trying this one. Trappist Rockfort 10. Bringing out the towel, because I accidentally shook and hit this bottle while bringing it upstairs, and I'm sort of afraid it's gonna explode. So let's open this up. Don't explode. Ooh, it didn't. Gave me. Here's the bottle cap. It's blue, I like it. My favorite color is blue, in case you guys didn't know. This is an unfiltered quadruple. I, I can't remember if I like quadruples or not. I think I do. I like. I think I like some of them anyways. I'm not pouring it too well. No, I remember now. I don't like the quadruples because they're difficult to pour. All the other beers don't give me a headache when it comes to pouring. And there comes all the sediment because it's unfiltered. Tazel. Here's the color. This is more of a dark tea color than a coffee color. You can't see through it. It's very, very dark. The head is beige. Let's smell this. Ooh. This has a sweet smell and then a smell I can't identify, but the unidentified smell is delicious. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not sure if this is a thing in other countries, but we have this thing called rubber cement. You're not supposed to sniff it because it's, I don't think it's necessarily bad for you. You just, you shouldn't, but it has a smell that it's like, it, it's very pleasant to just sniff it and smell it. And this doesn't smell like rubber cement. It's just, it's so pleasant. I, I could sit here and just sniff this. Oh, you know, I think it's a fruity smell that I'm getting. Like a dark, like maybe a plum. Oh, like a, a really ripe and sweet plum. It's, I don't know what it is. It just, it smells very appetizing. We're gonna try this. My hopes are really high now after smelling this. Hazontet. Ooh, ooh, wow. This doesn't taste like beer. I'm, I'm literally speechless right now. I don't know what to say about this because I'm not getting a, a beer flavor. It's delicious. It just, all the beers that I've tried. I, I don't think I've had one where I thought this doesn't taste like a beer. You know when you take a shot, there's that warming alcohol feeling that you get after you take it. That's the feeling that I'm getting from this beer, except there isn't that burn or kick from it. And this is at 11.3% ABV, so that that's really high. And I'm not getting the kick, but I am getting that sort of warming feeling that you get when you drink alcohol that's at a higher ABV. I sort of expect that feeling from tequila or vodka, which has a much higher ABV. And then the taste of this doesn't taste like beer. There's a sweet note and a sour note. Oh, it mixes together so well, which I know you're probably sitting there. It's sweet and sour. That, that sounds like polar opposites, but in the beginning, there's this really distinctive sweet note and it's not sugar sweet. It's, it's a fruity sweet. I just don't know what the fruit is. We're gonna call it plum because that's what I thought of when I smelled it. And then it turns to a sour taste. But the sour taste isn't vinegar, lemon. It's, it's like a lambic sour. That's the only way I can describe it because lambic sour is a very distinctive sour. And that's what that sour note is like. And then it ends on a carbonation sort of yeasty taste, but it's not bitter and it's not funky. And overall, it just, it doesn't taste like beer to me because I'm not getting like any malt or hop notes from it. Reading the ingredients, I see that this is made with barley and hops. So maybe that's why it tastes so different, but I'm not getting any hop note off of it. So maybe the whole different taste that I'm getting and the reason why it doesn't taste like beer is because it tastes so much like barley. But I feel like I must have, have had beers that have been made with barley before. This is so delicious. No, it's not the barley. There, there's, this just has a very distinctive taste 
and if I was doing a blind taste test and I had to guess, you know, what kind of alcohol is this? I w my first guess would not be beer. And that's not, that's not a bad thing. I think the greatest thing about Belgian beers is that they taste so distinctive that literally there are no two that are alike. This beer is such a pleasant surprise. Delicious. This reminds me of a Christmas beer, which I'm sure that there are people watching this who are well acquainted and know this beer really well and are thinking, Christmas, really Catherine? Yes, I, I don't know why, but I'm getting a Christmas feel off of this beer. I mean, I guess if we were really pushing the envelope, we could say it's a fall beer, except it's a Christmas beer. It's not a fall beer. I, I don't know if you can spice up your beer or not, but if you just added a tiny little bit of cinnamon to this, it would be like explosion Christmas in your mouth. All it's missing is cinnamon, and then it'd 100% be a Christmas beer. Okay, the last bit was a tiny bit bitter because of all the sediment, but it was still pleasant. This was delightful. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Definitely not the worst beer in Belgium. That's what I have for you guys this week. If you enjoyed this video and like to see me try other Belgian beers, then be sure to check out my Beer Mistress Beer Review playlist. Give thanks to the mighty algorithm gods by giving this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They don't care, just interact with my videos and they'll love you. Share this video with your friends, family, and strangers on the internet. Spamming them will make them love you more. All my social links have been left in the description below for your convenience. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and I keep a blog where I keep the conversation going. You guys should check that all out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Tote scenes, my apple scenes. The name of this beer, Rockford, makes me think of an evil duke from a romance novel. So another time to drink this beer is if you're a duke, you're evil, and you want to keep two people who are in love away from each other.